Facebook Dynamic Creative is a capability that allows you to take multiple media types, formats, and sort of just mix and match. And this is an example of a Dynamic Creative had that I have built. And what you're seeing here is that I have multiple uh, options for my primary text that Facebook can sort of switch between. I have multiple headlines that I've included here, and I, I wanted to test uh, multiple descriptions. And I even have two different call to actions. One, book now to get people to you know go to my website and sign up for a consultation. And then I know sometimes when people see that call to action, they might get a little hesitant to click on the ad. So I'm also testing learn more. And so now I, I've inputted those options into Facebook, and now it's gonna show me um, some of the different ads it's gonna spit out. So I believe Facebook can do up to a thousand different variations uh, for dynamic creative. So we're just seeing a few examples here. You also again have the capability to use an image. You can have multiple images, you can have multiple videos. There could be multiple different types of formats that Facebook shows your, your ad in. Um, and again, it's just trying to figure out what is actually gonna deliver the best performance for whatever your campaign objective is, whether that's if you're doing an e-com campaign to sell a product or if you're doing lead generation because you're selling a service. So it can be quite effective. Um, this is actually an ad that's already running, so I wanna quickly show you how you can interpret the results of Dynamic Creative because there is one caveat. If you wanna know what's the best performing creative, you can't exactly see one combination of the best performing. It, it doesn't actually tell, tell you per prescriptively. Let me show you an example. So if I wanna know what the best headline is, I could definitely see that breakout. Um, the one problem becomes that if I try to see what got me the most amount of clicks, it won't actually show me that information because it's aggregating it. Um, but what you can do as a proxy to figure out what is the best performing headline or call to action button or whatever element, you know, um, whatever key element you want to focus on, you could see what's getting the most amount of reach. Because generally how the algorithm works is whatever is getting the best performance for your campaign objective generally tends to get the most amount of reach. So I'm seeing that the headline get strategic clarity is doing very well. And I'm seeing the headline unlock strategic clarity is doing very well. Now you might ask yourself the question, okay, what, why do I even care about knowing this? Well, um, something actionable you could do after you get these insights is think about, well, maybe let me make a, a different version of this video and add a hook at the beginning of the video. So people will see, you know, Hey, unlock strategic clarity. If it's resonating, if that messaging is resonating, now you can think about ways to ideate your creative. Also, I'm, I'm recently launching a Google ads campaign. And so I wanted to essentially use this insight to then build my, my Google search ads. Um, cause Google has the capability to do, you know, responsive search ads where you can put multiple headlines, kind of like Facebook dynamic creative. So now this information is assisting me outside of Facebook. So it's just showing you another way, another way dynamic creative can be very useful. And whenever you're building your dynamic creative, again, you're not going to see this information at the, at, at the campaign level, you're going to see the capability at the ad set level and that's where you turn it on. Now, regardless if you're using dynamic creative or not, it is crucial for you to have video ads that are effective. That's why I put together this uh, one page or cheat sheet that can help you develop an effective video with my video ad framework. Grab it below, follow the link in the description and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.